and running for 300, over 300 yards. I'm very pleased, very uh, happy about the, just the overall effort of our team, you know, but uh, we ran the ball well. The conditions kind of mandated that that was going to be the way to move the ball. And the offensive line, the tight ends, you know, we're blocking the receivers and we ran the ball hard. Our running backs had a lot of good, you know, yardage after contact and things too as well. So uh, just a good group effort of running the football successfully and controlling the clock and, you know, just kind of showing that physicality that you like and in those situations or the weather situation. I mean, that was a way to operate, especially the first half. What's the challenge if there is one? It, in you know, you know that you're going to have to run the ball because of the conditions. They know you're going to try to run the ball. So what's the challenge in trying to essentially still keep them off kilter despite they know that that's exactly what you're going to be trying to do? Well, I think it's just like anything. I mean, I always say you prepare your team for what you see the opponent doing. You don't prepare for what they might do. You prepare for what they have done. And once the game starts, you adjust to what they're doing. So as coaches, you have to make adjustments. And so as they adjusted, we adjusted, you know, and so on and so forth. But uh, I just think it, it means that you got to be right on point with everything you're doing. You know, there's going to be extra guys around. You got to get them blocked, you know. So that means the tight ends got to get their blocks. That means the receivers got to get their blocks because those people are going to be closer to the ball. And uh, those guys did. You know, obviously the O-line's handling usually the inside four and the inside linebackers, but then anything outside of those six are usually controlled by your tight ends and receivers. And I just thought our guys did a great job in all phases from inside out on that. Jim had a lot of praise for Jim had a lot of praise for Caesar Monday night. What did you see from yeah. him? And he created out in the '90s as well. Yeah, Caesar had a, a really good game. I mean, he's played consistent for a couple years now for me since I've been here. But he had a really good game and just. He's good in space. We tease him, you know, sees in space. We give him <laughs> jokes around about that. But we got into a situation where the defenses they were playing, we were able to pull him some and get him on the perimeter. And he likes doing that. And he's very athletic for a big offensive lineman fast. And so um, he made some nice plays, you know, at the second level and out there. But yeah, he played really well. So yeah, he graded out the highest. and. Of, of a group of guys that graded out very well, he graded out the highest. What, um, when did you guys decide to really kind of tweak the running game and, and what led to that? Well, I mean, um, you know, weather conditions sometimes, you know, dictate that. So we knew we were going to get into bad weather and the closer we got to the game, the more we, it was going to be obvious that we were going to get into that. So we were very prepared with the run game to have more options available in that and, and use it more. Um, so, you know, probably as a week wore on, probably that Wednesday, Thursday, we started really thinking about how to make sure we had enough runs and a variety so we could, if we had to be a strictly a run game, you know, that, because what did we throw it 12 times? And, and, you know, and some of those were, you know, kind of risky and in terms of the weather and just, you're going to drop back and snap a shotgun and throw it down the field. Not risky, but you know what I mean? There's, you just don't know how wet the ball is going to be. There's a couple of times where there's keeping the ball as dry as they can. And then sometimes the ball sits out there a little bit longer, you know? I mean, it's, it's funny. Like I, I pay attention to that because the center has to snap it every time. Sometimes the ball is put on the ground and it's there 10 seconds and we snap it. Sometimes it's put on the ground and it's there 30 seconds. Well, in that rain, 20 extra seconds of unprotected football is, significantly wetter for everybody dealing with it, which can all of a sudden, oh, everything's going good. We're not having any trouble with the ball. And then all of a sudden the ball sits open for 20 extra seconds and now you got a problem. And no one really realizes that. Maybe no one here ever realized that, but I do because he has to sit there and grab a hold of it. And it just depends on how long they let it sit out there in the open. Um, but we managed that pretty well. I mean, I don't think we had a fumble by a running back you know, we fumbled the snap down on the goal line there. That was disappointing because we had a really good play. I mean, if you watch it, it probably would have scored, but the ball fell on the ground. But that was a situation. I don't know if we got a dry ball on that because we were going kind of fast down there. I don't know if we got a dry ball because that's the one Shea said was the wet. It was really wet when he got it. 